Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Julian, I'm here to do my reaction video for season 8, yes, season 8, episode 3 of One Tree Hill, this time the title of the episode is The Space In Between, and I am very, very excited for a new episode of One Tree Hill, I watched episode 2 yesterday and I'm ready, ready to watch a new episode and, you know, just dive into the the story and what's gonna happen i mean it has left uh well you know kind of like up out there whether if clay is going to be okay or not but i think he will if they wanted to kill him they will have done it by now already so yes uh i don't think he's gonna die and queen came back and they were in this some sort of like limbo situation Pretty sure that, that uh, Clay just needs a little bit more time to recover. Yeah. Uh, then there's a whole Chase, Mia, Alex thing. And I'm like, why are we having this love triangle? I don't want it. Uh, and also because I don't like the fact that... Um, what's her name? Mia is being mean to Alex. And I'm very protective of Alex. So I'm like, stop it, Mia. You know, don't. This was your fault, <laughs> so whatever. Anyways, I am ready, I'm excited, I'm happy that I get to watch another episode of One True Heal with all of you. So I hope you guys enjoy and continue supporting for more. So yeah, episode three, The Space In Between is a title, I think I said it, but just in case I didn't. I'm also like really, really careful just to look at the first three thumbnails. I am not looking beyond that because... I have a feeling I'm gonna get spoiled, so I'm focusing on the one that I'm, I'm about to watch. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoy, hope you guys continue supporting for more, and without further ado, let's just begin with Season 8, Season 8, Episode 3 of One Tree Hill. That our attorneys have spoken with their attorneys, who've spoken with half of the federal government, and we've reached an agreement. We oh, really? Will pay a fine. We'll restructure, we'll get a slap on the wrist, and you will keep your company. And okay, your that's good. Let's just say that I've always had your best interests at heart. I believe I in that. Do. I believe in that. So breathe. Okay, that's good. And, uh, don't eat that. Why not? <laughs> You're gonna be just what? No, thank you. Oh, come on. Thank you. You want a thank you? Don't be mean. For getting me into this mess. She got yeah, you out well, too. I thank you for getting you out of yeah, it. Yeah. True. How about are you fired? I am sorry for putting you through this. I believe in that. I believe in that because, you know, Victoria has earned the right of to make a mistake. She did it like betting that she will win because usually Brooke is always right about, you know, doing new things in her company. So I'm giving her her thank you, her like an apology, everything, because victory is good now. What the hell happened to you? Dog bite. What? What the fuck? Who said that? There's another dead guy around. Well, it's a hospital after all. This sucks, huh? I don't know what? why they call it the waiting room. Wait. Do I know who that is? There they are. Ay, Dios mío, me asustas. Good timing. She scared me. Dude, they restocked the cafeteria with all sorts of sugary goodness. I just want to say, look at his hair. He looks really pretty. He looks really pretty. It's just like, how handsome is he? I know I say this in every episode, but still. I just think we need to recognize that he's pretty. And really, like, look, just look at him. Perfection right there. Hey, Malfa and Millie send their best. They just Are they back together? Of course. Are they back together? Please, no. No. Oh, thank God. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. The disbelieving Brooke's face, that was me. The, what? Millie! Millicent! Millicent! You and I have to talk. Right now. Out there. Come on. What? No. I have to go through this again. I have to go through this again. Again, look, I don't want this because <laughs> it's not clear. Oh, I just thought that she deserves so much better than Mouth. Oh, Millicent. 
Mistake after mistake. <laughs> uh, well, it's not the worst thing that could happen. You know, she could go back to drugs. That would be worse. But, like, this is not an up upgrade. I don't want this. I'm so sorry. Go off. So, I guess last night we must have... Yeah. Were you drunk? Yeah, I guess so. Why did this scare? I'll probably get up. <laughs> oh, bitch. Oh, no. Oh, God. Can, can you help him? Oh, it's Clay. Jesus. How do you get a, a, a best friend here, Clay? I, I, I can... I can honestly, I can hardly make friends in real life. Imagine if this happened to me. I will be like, dude, I thought I was alone. What? <laughs> Oh, with a, with a rock and roll thing! <laughs> Why are they doing this? <laughs> like, the first one was kind of like cute because he was like, kind of like, sweet. Well, what is this? Oh, what is this? I thought I had the intro back now. I'm like, you know what? Bring the black and white thing. <laughs> and Brooke, do you know where babies come from? Not for me. <laughs> oh my god, don't say that. <laughs> oh, sweetie. Kiss her. Oh, look at this. so pretty. Can we steal one? Maybe we can. <laughs> Kidding. How's the job search going? Why? Are, grin, actually. Why are they being this awkward? Like, it's like this is the first time they have seen each other naked, and like, it's not true. What is happening? Yeah, I've only gotten 48 hits. Today? Well, uh, ever. Well, oh. but it's, it's, well, it takes a while. It takes a while, especially back then. People weren't just getting used to it. I think you're going to do great. I'm, am I supporting your mouth? What the hell is happening? Probably just take some time. Oh, my God. He's going to be okay. He's going to be okay, yes. He needs a kidney transplant. Oh. If he doesn't get it, they don't. Why does he need a kidney transplant? Didn't he got shot in the chest? Well, maybe the kidney is failing. I have no idea. He also bleed. Out. I have no idea how like the body works, but like he got shot in the chest. Why is he like losing a kidney now? <laughs> Hales. What are the odds a kidney becomes available? It's hard to say. Find the right match could take some time. Does he have much time? Oh, don't tell me you're gonna donate a kidney because I don't think you're gonna be able to play if you do. No, I'm not saying that Kelly doesn't deserve a kidney, but like, I don't want a kidneyless Nathan. <laughs> I want to protect my child. Don't, don't say that you're gonna do the test. No. Shut up. Take mine. No, no, shut up, Nathan. I one of my kidneys. No. Nathan, where Let's find out. No! That's a wonderful gesture. Then you need to talk to your and wife. A one. Black Dickens. <laughs> right? <laughs> but no. It's a good gesture, but no. No, Nathan, no. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's going to survive, so no. What if that were me in there? What would you say to Clay? That's not fair. Well, that's yeah, not fair. Exactly. Clay could still do what he loves, he could still be an agent. Maybe you've worked so hard. That's what I said. Beyond that, it's also a risk to his. Isn't it a risk? Can you live with okay with one kidney? I don't know. Maybe you can. I don't know. They ran some tests on my back. It's getting worse. What? My back is degenerating. Oh my god. The only thing we do know for sure is that if I do this for Clay, he get yeah his life. I don't know. I still don't want that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Clay. Maybe you could have my kidney. That way he would be okay and you could still be a bobcat. I think you're a little young for that, Jane. Yeah. I love you for the offer, though. I love him, I too. too. Clay's the reason you were going to be a bobcat this year. So if he needs help, we should help him. Yeah. You're a good man, James Scott. So are you he dead. is. Be outside. You're so sweet. 
That's so sweet that she she got her there. Don't get up. Okay, she's gonna get up. That's so sweet. Miracles do happen, so maybe this is what she what he needed. That is so sweet. I feel bad for him. So why don't why don't you surprise us all? Oh, Queenie! Open those beautiful blue eyes. Oh, sweetie! And take my breath away. Oh, Queen! I do me oh, Again, he scared me. My mom says that we're keeping the company and that she and the attorneys can handle everything. But do we trust her this time? Honestly, I trust her. I don't know if I'll ever trust her again. No. I trust her. Don't you think you should take it? I'll talk to her eventually. But where were we? Well, what happened? You know, Victoria, I know you're trying to help, but this is how we got here. I hate that I didn't involve Brooke the last time and I don't feel good about it now. What is- I understand. What is happening? If we had involved Brooke the last time, she'd be going to prison instead of me. Wait, you're going to prison? Is that what you prefer? You're going to prison? She's going to prison? Wait. Are we gonna have like oranges in your black? Am I hoping Victoria turns gay? Yes. <laughs> you Sorry. were talking about how to deal. You you're so brave for doing this, Nate. I love you. I love you. Like the good example you're saving for your son. I I could never, you know. I could never like because I want you like complete with both your kidneys but like still <laughs> brian's song was a true story he's a match isn't one who him was dying and one who would have given anything to save him i'm sorry nathan oh you're not a match well the chance but you did it i mean i'm not gonna say that he <laughs> that i'm not happy about this result but like the fact that he did this is amazing i mean just speaks on how great of a human being he is, honestly. I, I mean, I could never, you know, but still. Has to be something we can do. Maybe we can kill yeah, Sarah and Sarah's a match. Taste Wait, her name is Sarah? No, Katie, Katie. Calling everybody in the family shopping for your kidney. <laughs> Tay says you've been calling everybody in the family shopping for your kidney. That's weird. Has to be something. Or you call them and like, hey, do you want to lose a kidney? <laughs> he doesn't have much time, Queen. Oh my god, don't say that. Nah, he's gonna be a-okay. Slap him. Maybe that's what he needs. <laughs> he will wake up. He's gonna be okay. I, I am in denial. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh no, Queen, do not make me cry. Queen! Kiss him. Maybe he's like, you know, sleeping beauty or something. I don't know. Here I am asking for a non-consensual kiss when I was like dreading that <laughs> on legacies. The hypocrisy. I'm so sorry. Don't don't kiss him. Oh my god, Quinn. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh stop with the cries. The way they hug each other is oh isn't the oh, way sweetie. Isn't the amount of trauma, like let's be real, like Let's just try to be real. The amount of trauma that my poor Jamie has to endure, it's insane. That kid. And he's still kind and noble. Is it's so perfect. Oh, Nathan, don't, don't, my child. No, 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 baby. No, 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 no. Oh, I can see you. No, 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 no. No, my child. The hell are you going? No, please. Don't, like, I can't see Nathan crying. No, my child. My baby, you're so good. my fault. I don't like this. We should get confetti. Because in my heaven, it's just us. 
claim. This is gonna make me cry. I'm like really close to like bursting into tears. Car accident. I'm sorry. This is my fault. I was texting. Dude. Do you know how stupid that yes. is? I do now. <laughs> Trust me, I know now. <laughs> What's your name anyway? Oh, she's gonna Victoria get- Victoria Davis, the key player in the close of a bro's financial scandal, reports to prison today in North Carolina. In exchange for her guilty plea, Miss Davis was convicted of conspiracy- She is going to own this prison by the end of it. We know this. See to commit fraud. This is gonna be okay. Like, this just gets to show you how much she loves Brooke. It's any mother will do. I will do the same. You look pretty. How you can you talk with a tube in your lungs? I knew. See, I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. Will Bennett died Monday evening. Mr. Bennett was an active sportsman, a son, a brother, and beloved by many. That is so sad. His organs were donated so that others might live. Oh my god! That is so sad! You see, I told you when they want to do something to make you cry to actually kill someone, they do it! <sighs> okay guys, so that was the end of season 8, episode 3 of One Tree Hill. See, I told you. I told you that he was going to be okay. I feel bad, though, for Will. I feel bad. I mean, we only knew him on this episode. But, you know, I don't know. It was sad. It really it really shocked me. Um, thing is that I feel that Nathan did such a wonderful thing. Uh, or was about to do such a wonderful thing. Uh, I, I mean... I wouldn't, I don't know. I, 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 if it was my son, then I will do it. But I didn't want, you know, Nathan to go through that. I didn't, I'm so sorry, Clay. I like Clay, but I don't like Clay that much. <laughs> it's just that I was like, nah, that's not gonna happen. I, I just, no, I, I didn't believe it. Um, but thankfully it didn't happen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you guys are thinking that, oh no, Nathan should have done it. I mean, he wanted to, and I, if even if I didn't agree with what he was about to do, I still will have supported him. Um, but, you know, it gets to show you how big of his heart is, you know, how um, he really was thinking about his friend, about his friend, about losing him, about the fact that he could possibly do something to help him, and... He didn't think twice, you know, about doing it. Uh, sadly, it didn't... It was not something that he could do because at the end of the day, he was not a match. But, you know, it was uh, something so... And such an inspiring thing also for for his son, for Jamie to see that his father will do, like, like what friendship, friendship means for his father, you know, and how... He's there for his friends, you know, through everything. And, like, the fact is, like, my friend needs a kidney. I have two. I'm going to give one to him. Like, he didn't even thought twice. And, like, that, how much that sets an example for Jamie is just insane, you know? And I think it's so powerful uh, to witness, honestly, and to see, you know, the fact that Jamie is growing. And then you, you think... How is it that Jamie is so, you know, thoughtful and noble and kind and, you know, amazing and 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 very much an empath in, in, in you know, every situation and he knows what to say. How is it? Well, you see who he, his parents are, you know? People who are willing to go the extra mile for who they believe and and they consider part of their family, you know? So he has a great example. I don't know how he's not traumatized by this point <laughs> poor Jamie but like the fact is that you really see the impact Nayli has through Jamie 
you know, because Jamie also was like, maybe I can give him his my kidney, you know. Uh, he doesn't fully understand because he's still a kid, even though he's really smart. But uh, the fact is that Nathan and Haley lead by example, and that's exactly how they are raising Jamie, and that's why Jamie is such a wonderful kid, you know. Um, I do believe that one day Brooke and and... And Julian, just like Jamie said, they will be great parents in whatever form or shape that looks, you know, because there's always adoption. I know they made a really <laughs> mean joke in this episode where she was like, where do babies come from? Well, not from me, but like biologically, maybe she can, but she has, you know, she helped, um, um, she helped. Was it uh, uh, um, baby Angie and also Sam? You know she knows what it is to be a mom, and it, she knows that it doesn't necessarily has to be your blood to consider consider that person your child. So it's it's honestly is a conversation that I wish uh, Julian and and Brooke could have because it is an option, you know. So. I don't know why haven't they been able to talk about it. Now they're engaged. Maybe, you know, eventually they need to have that type of conversation. I don't know. Um, in very shocking news, I, I was, like, really upset uh, for a moment where when Brooke was like, I don't know if I can forgive Victoria. And I was like, really? You can forgive Victoria? Like, because I was like, Victoria didn't... Well, she did really, like, a really... She could have lost the, the company. She could have got a jail and everything. But I do believe what she said in the previous episode, that she was betting on her talent, on her instincts. And she thought, hey, Brooke believes in this line. I believe in Brooke, so let's just do it. Um, and sadly, this time it turned out for the worse. But the thing is that by... Uh, um, Victoria taking the blame for this, going to prison for for this mistake. It just speaks lengths on how much she loves Brooke. Like there, if you had a doubt before, which I don't think no one did, if you had any type of doubt, I think it's clear now, right? Because she had a thing with this, you know, with the other Alex Alexander. But to her, no one is more important than Brooke, you know? So I love the fact, I don't love the fact that she's going to prison, but what that represents and tells Brooke how much she loves her and how much she is sorry that she made this mistake, it's just, it was wonderful. Honestly, I love Victoria so freaking much. Like, I started hating because she was bitch. Bitch Toria, right? That's how that was. That's what Peyton called her. The thing is that knowing, um, knowing that, uh, like, like that, I used to like hate the character, but now I, I love her. I will walk on fire for her, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, honestly, and like, let's be real. If someone is ready for prison, <laughs> that is <laughs> Victoria. She's gonna own that place. Catch her being the lead, like the ring leader of a gang inside of prison. I swear to God, because this is Victoria. Come on. Um, anyways, what else? Uh, well, even uh, Millie, like not being able to lie to Brooke again. I think that was really sweet. Uh, but I love the dynamic between um, Millicent and Victoria. I really do. Um, anyways, what else did we have in the episode? Well, the Queen moments were really sweet with Clay. I mean, her confessing her like her love and like her being there and like you know since the the moment she woke up, she wanted to be there uh, with him. It was really sweet. It was really beautiful. It just you know it speaks volumes of the love they have for each other. You know, and it's, it it was beautiful to have the guy dying for Clay to be able to live. It's just sad. But it happens like that, you know, someone uh, sometimes, you know, but the fact is that Will was a hero. I mean, he donated his organs so more people could live, you know, have a second chance in life. It's just crazy, you know, and, and, and so powerful and so 
it was so so sad in a moment you know when we realized what happened it was just terrible then i do like the idea of uh mouth doing the podcast uh i think you know of course it's just trying to catch on but like he always has something to say i think the format of a podcast for them for him is wonderful you know because he is also someone who will speak his mind you know he will say what he thinks regardless of if he gets higher or not so having been an independent um um news reporter whatever he is with the podcast or whatever he's going to do next online i think it's a great idea then i didn't under really understood the whole awkwardness between mouth and millie did i want them together again no no i did not <laughs> I did not want it, but here it is, you know? Hopefully it was a one-night thing and they can move past it, but I don't think they're gonna do that. Anyways, I'm not that happy about that. I'm not really that happy about it. But okay, you know, you do you. Um, but yeah, Millicent is not... <laughs> she's not making good decisions lately, but anyways. Um, what else happened in the episode? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What else happened on the episode? Other than the fact that, uh, okay, Clay was back, Quinn was doing better, James amazing, yeah. I don't think anything else happened. It was it was very much focused on you know Clay waking up. So we have a I, we had a lot of Quinn Clay scenes. Like the fact that that Quinn was phoning and like calling everyone she knew. Hey, do you have a kidney to spare? <laughs> I love that. Uh, they mentioned Taylor in this episode. I wish that we could see Taylor more of Taylor. I mean, I love Quinn, but I'm always a sucker for like those type of characters that are a mess and then they you know, flourish in front of our eyes is just, I feel this amazing. And I think that we could have so much with um, her, you know, with with Taylor, but she's not here. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oh, also we found out that uh, Nathan's back is not doing great and he could play one more season or two, but really out, out there on when you know his problems are going to uh are not going to allow him to keep playing so that is a, a really scary um future right there i mean he has a wonderful family he has play and and he has make his dream come true um so if he can walk away i think that he, when and if he does he's gonna walk away you know, feeling like he, he really won. You know, he played for the NBA. He was excellent. You know, he has a beautiful family. So I think that uh, at the end of the day, there are not going to be too many regrets in that aspect, you know. Um, but yeah, great episode. As always, I love One Tree Hill. I love this episode as well. And I cannot wait to watch the next one because it's so good. I hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys continue supporting for more. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you love One Tree Hill. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. You can go right now to Patreon and watch the full extended version for this reaction and so much more. So in case you guys want to do that, the link as always will be in the description down below. If we have anything else to talk about uh, with One Tree Hill, the comments are always there. So let's talk. And for now, I think that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I will see you guys next time for more reaction videos for One Tree Hill. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.